it's Adam Drummond here from Wagga Wagga.tv. It's the online TV show about people, places and property. And this one's brought to you by Paddo from Winnie. He's given up his time to film out here at Brunsley Park Estate. Don't you love a family fun day? That's exactly what we've got on offer today. Brunsley Park are putting on a barbecue, face painting, jumping castle. There's petting zoo, everything for the family. And it's all going to a great cause, Ignite Mentor. Why don't you come in and find out what it's all about? I walk down this park, so out here at Brunsley Park we've got this great big marquee up and there's a few builders that we're talking to today to see what their thoughts are. I'm, I'm joined by Glenn Maslin from Maslin Homes. Mate, um, recently there's been some incentives out there for people who are buying new homes. How do you think that's affected the building industry as a whole? Yeah, well I think the incentives has, um, has really boosted the building industry. We've got um, the majority of people that do come in to get new houses always ask about the incentives, so uh, which is telling me that they're working and, and I think that's the reason that the uh, building industry is so strong. What have you seen the benefits of being out at Brunsley Park? Yeah, well, I think Brunsley Park's a great little estate. You've got, uh, obviously it's got a lot of infrastructure going ahead with, with the new tavern, also the motel. You've got a daycare centre coming out here as well and it's a, a very friendly place with, uh, with a lot of kids and it's an affordable place of Wagga. So. so Metricon Homes, one of the largest building companies in Australia, they're also out at Brunsley Park, and I'm joined by Peter Allen from Metricon Homes. Nice to have you on the show, Peter. Thank you. Now, mate, tell me something. Um, you put your very first display home out here at Brunsley Park Estate. What That's made right. you do that? What made you choose Brunsley Park? Well, we just found it was such a great family opportunity out here that there was a lot of land available very good value for money so whenever we go into a new area we try and pick out the best estate best location and where there's great opportunities for family and that to get into their home what do you think the future holds for this estate look we're promoting it right across australia because we do believe it's a good investment opportunity yeah. but it's also great as I, as I said before offering great value for money for the normal family to get into an area, into Warrior, to get into their own home. Uh, the Brunskills who are actually run the area here, they make it a very family orientated, good tracks and everything going through, close to the, the city, nice shopping centre up the road. It's just a great place to live. So now I'm joined by a couple of people who put a deposit down today in one of the blocks out at Brunsley Park Estate. I'm joined by Jay and Kristen. Thanks for coming on the show. I understand this is your first home. What made you decide Brunsley Park and what made you decide to build rather than buy something existing? Oh, we've been out in uh, Forest Hill for what, 18 months or nearly two years I suppose. And we just like the area and we're ready to build a new home. It's nice and quiet and yeah, so. Just a nice, nice area to be in, mate. Yeah. So, so tell me something. Have you looked at the existing house market as well, or did you always think, no, we're going to build and, and get what we want? We had looked in the existing market, but building yeah. has a lot more incentives for yeah. first home builders. So. Yeah, that's right. It was, it was nearly going to, for the house that we wanted. It was nearly going to buy us, cost us the same amount to buy a house as it is to build a brand new one. So, and we can spec it up to suit ourselves. You know. So. Yep. Yeah. So as first home buyers, what are the uh, government incentives out there? What do you get when you when you build a new home? Um, we'll get the... Oh, you go. <laughs> we don't have to pay the stamp duty, yep. which is amazing. Yeah, it's a big, big cost out there. Like, yeah. Uh, and, and we get the $15,000 first home buyers. For, you only get that for building now. And, and there's also a stamp duty... Incentive, uh, incentive on the on land. The land. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I you think know, we got a it's a five thousand uh, dollar rebate, so it's covered the whole the whole lot of the stamp duty for the land. So it hasn't co basically we haven't paid any government charges. <laughs> so in total, we're looking at around twenty five thousand dollars worth of savings. Whereas yeah. if you bought an existing house, there's obviously stamp duty yeah. now and all that sort of stuff. That's right. Yeah. Well, so we've been able to spend you know three hundred forty thousand on the house and land, whereas. If we wanted to spend only that much, we would have only got a $300,000 house, you know. So. One of the other builders that uh, take part out here at Brunsley Park Estate are Dennis Family Homes, and I'm joined by one of the guys from Dennis Family now. It's Darren O'Donnell. Thanks for coming on the show, mate. Not a problem. Now, you've been involved in these events at Brunsley Park before. What do you think the benefits are to people who come out to these uh, family fun days? There's a few benefits that, um, that can come for people coming out here, like uh, they get to see the blocks, get to come out and get a feel for the the blocks, the affordability of the area, um, yep. just to get out and get involved in, in the main areas out here. Heal my mind, heal my mind, I walk in day, I walk down this small sick and
New home consultant Robin Wong, thanks for joining me on Wagga Wagga TV. Um, now you guys, like you said, you've just set up a uh, office here. It's now permanent in Wagga Wagga. Where did you come from before that? Um, GJ Gardner Albury. Yep. Um, purchased GJ Gardner Wagga. How's the new home inquiry been like for you for the past 12 months? Um, it's been consistent, um, but just since we've had the office in Wagga, um, it's been overwhelming, really. I'm, you know, quite impressed by the rate of inquiry for this year. It's been good. Is this, is this subdivision going to take off, do you think? Oh, look, I'm sure it will. With lots of new homes, it's still got that lovely rural feel. Yep. And in terms of distance into Wagga, it's, it's quite a pleasant drive. So now I'm joined by someone who's organised today's Family Fun Day event. It's Sam Brunskill from Brunsley Park Estate. Sam, thanks for being on the show. Thank you. Now tell us about this event. What made you put it on? Uh, we decided to um, hold the Family Fun Open Day because we're celebrating Stage 11 and the lamb release of that. Okay, and uh, how many blocks are in Stage 11? Tell us a little bit about how much the blocks cost and what sort of homes you can build out here. So there is 30 lots in Stage 11. We've actually got 10 of them sold today. We've received some deposits today, which wow. is good. Um, we've got four different types of lots, contemporary, entertainer, manor and homestead lots available, um, ranging from 496 to 1,206 square metres. And they're selling from $90,250. And we've also got house and land packages from $301,000. Wow, so that's very affordable for Wagga residents and investors as well. Yep. So tell us, what made you think of uh, a family fun day? Why does that seem to work? Well, at Brunsley Park, we really are trying to target families. Um, obviously, it's only two kilometres away to the neighbourhood shopping centre. We've got a family-friendly tavern and shopping precinct coming as well. Um, and we've got schools, parklands around the area as well. So we've found out that most of the people that are building in Brunsley Park are families. Terrific. And you've also got a new office. Whereabouts can people find you if they want more information? They can find us at 111A Fitzmaurice Street upstairs um, and just come by. And um, even if you're a current resident or future, um, we're happy to answer any of the questions and explain the Brunsley Park vision, I guess, to them. Great. And have you also got a website that they might be able to just go in and see some of the blocks? Yeah, definitely. So they can visit us um, our website, brunsleypark.com.au, and we've also got a Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, uh, so they can follow us on all of our social media networks as well. And I mentioned earlier in my intro at Wagga, Wagga TV that all the money that's raised today will go to Ignite Mentor. How are you involved with Ignite Mentor now? Well, I'm now a part of the steering committee and Brunsley Park's now the naming sponsor for Ignite. So we're hoping to raise a fair bit of money through the barbecue and the face painting today, but not only be the sponsor, I guess, but have an active role within Ignite to promote what they're doing. That's great. And, uh, and being a part of Ignite myself, we're obviously very grateful that you <laughs> yeah. guys came on as yeah. naming sponsors and raising the money today. Yeah. So this is Sam Brunskill from Brunsley Park Estate. Sam, thanks for being on the show. Thanks, what a fantastic day out here at the Brunsley Park Family Fun Day. Barbecues, petting zoo, jumping castle, just to name a few of the activities out here. Everyone's had a ball and of course it's all thanks to Brunsley Park Estate. Sam Brunskill who's organised it. Uh, this is Adam Drummond from Wagga Wagga TV, the online TV show about people, places and property and this one's brought to you by Paddo at Win TV.